Be mad. Madman, who on a bright morning lit a lantern and ran oh. to the marketplace, calling out unceasingly, I seek God! I seek, I seek, I seek God! As there were many people standing about who did not believe in God, he caused a great deal of amusement. Oui. Why? Is he lost? Said the one. Is he straight away like a child? Said another. Oh, wait, does he keep himself hidden? Is he afraid of us? Is he taking a sea voyage? Is he integrated? Oh, wait. The people cried out laughingly, all in a hump. <laughs> The unseen man jumped into their midst and transfixed them with his glances. Where's God gone? Anyone seen him? Hello? Go out for a bit? He called out. I mean to tell you, we have killed him, you and I. We are all his murderers. <laughs> but how have we done it? How were we able to drink up the sea? Who gave us the sponge to wipe away the whole horizon? What did we do when we loosened this earth from its sun? Whither does it now move? Whither do we move? Away from our old suns? Do we not dash on unceasingly backwards, sideways, forwards, in all directions? Is there still an above and a below? Do we not stray as through infinite nothingness? Does not empty space breathe upon us? Has it not become colder? Does not night come on continually, darker and darker? Shall we not have to light lanterns in the morning? Do we not hear the noise of the grave diggers who are burying God? Do we not smell the divine putrefaction? Or even God's putrefaction? God is dead. God remains dead. And we have killed him. How shall we console ourselves, the most murderous of all murderers? The holiest and the mightiest that the world has hitherto possessed has bled to death under our knife. Who will wipe the blood from us? With what water could we cleanse ourselves? What, what, what lust? What, what sacred game shall we have to devise? Is not the magnitude of this deed too great for us? Shall we not ourselves have to become gods? Merely to seem worthy of it. There never was a greater event, and on account of it, all who are born after us belong to a higher history than any history hitherto. Here, the madmen were silent and looked again at his hearers. They also were silent and looked at him in surprise. At last, he threw his lantern on the ground so that it broke in pieces and was extinguished. I come too early! I am not yet at the right time. This prodigious event is still on its way and is traveling. It has not yet reached men's ears. Lightning and thunder need time. The light of the stars needs time. Deeds need time. Even after they are done, to be seen and heard. This deed is as yet further from them than the furthest star, and yet they have done it! You're done! You did it! It is further stated that the madman made his way into different churches on the same day, and there intoned his requiem eternum tio. When led out and called to account, he always gave the reply. What are these churches now, if not the tombs and monument of God? Amen. <laughs>